We call ourselves the world's greatest democracy. We are absolutely a plutocracy. It's the most obvious thing in the world. Wealth governs this country, and wealth uses military violence to control the rest of the world as best it can. And we're responsible, and we will pay the price for it. Another. But I contend, therefore, that the very first lie or myth that must be laid to rest about the Cold War is that it was a Cold War because there was nothing cold about it. In fact, estimates of the death toll linked to the Cold War, as I think Frank mentioned, run from 20 to 25 million people. As such, the Cold War was ranked as the ninth deadliest in world history, and the United States bears the responsibility for the great majority of those deaths. And one of the themes that Oliver and I were pursuing in Untold History was that the Cold War was not inevitable. It was insane, but it was not inevitable. During the Second World War, uh, the majority of our planes were actually built by Ford and GM. And when the war ended very in August and the orders were abruptly canceled for new war planes, Ford and GM went back to building cars very happily, really pent up wartime demand. But other companies like Lockheed and Douglas and Martin the others that had built up from almost nothing before the war, from very small to enormous profits, they were all facing going bankrupt, literally bankrupt. 